What you're about to see is something disturbing. Something that has long been forgotten in the Amy archives. Something that you are not ready for. Viewer discretion is advised for the following video. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. In this vlog we're going to be making Dutch braided apple pie. No, not the Dutch braid as in hair, but Dutch braid as in food. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Turn your oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. What we need to make this apple pie is two green apples, as you can see right here. So, if you're a responsible, like, medium-sized adult, then you can cut it with parent supervision, or, We'll have a parent or guardian cut it for you. And grab your potato peeler, or just peeler, and start peeling the skin off. Now that you have peeled all the app, like the skin of the apple, which I have not done on this part, so let me do that quickly. Now, what you're gonna do is grab your knife and cut the apple um, really with really thin slices, but don't cut them up into cubes. I'm doing them in really small pieces because, let me tell you, I'm pretty sure nobody likes to eat really like these hard an apple. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell me what should I do next with a vlog. I'm going to put the apples inside a large bowl that can fit all of these apples. Hey guys, so guess what? This is the dummy of me. I forgot to turn on the camera. So what I did was I put in a whole tablespoon of all-purpose flour, which is right there, one whole egg, which I also mixed with one tablespoon of water and mixed it with a fork, which is right here. And I put three tablespoons of cane sugar, which is also brown sugar, which is right there. Now you're gonna need one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm adding one fourth cup of walnuts. Start kneading with your hands all of the stuff we just put in the apples. If you want, you can use a some gloves for this if you don't want to get them in your um, nails. I uh, flowered my workspace where I'm gonna start unsheeting the stuff, which got it all over my hands, but that's good so it doesn't get stuck to it. But don't, please, don't just dump the whole thing in your hands. I'm gonna start opening this. This is weird. There you go. Mine is not perfect because it's all weird looking. Well, my mom helped uh, unrolling the dough. So it's, tr it's all flattened up. I'm going to put the apples lengthwise, so the really tall end from the start to finish is going to be straight. I'm leaving a little space at the front and the back since it's going to puff up, since it's puff pastry. So what I'm going to do is just cut them straight. It's going to be one inch apart. You can just put any ex like extra things that you would like to put in. My mom's putting cream cheese. I'm just gonna stop here and finish and tell you what to do after that. What you're gonna do is create like a Dutch braid effect, which is crossing over each one over the other one. So what I have right here is the egg yolk and the water mix and my little um, thing 
to brush it with. If you want, you can put some cinnamon slowly, and then now I'm gonna sprinkle in some sugar. And it doesn't matter if the egg yolk falls inside your cake because it'll not do any this with the cinnamon. If you want, if you don't want to, then don't put cinnamon, but I like to put cinnamon on this one because then it fries and then it tastes good. Then I'm gonna grab the sugar to sprinkle the whole thing over the cake. With so much care, just flop it down. Sideways, like this. There we go. And leave it in there for 35 minutes. So that's the video. Basically, I did not film how it ended or how it tasted. I think I have a picture. If I do, I'll put it right right next to me. Uh, that's how it looks. Hopefully I have one. I don't know. So I wanted to post today because I felt bad about not posting the last week or the week before. So, and I've been lazy. So I decided I'm going to be posting every single day this week except Saturday and Sunday because those are not business days and I hope you guys enjoy it this week because there are going to be some very interesting videos um and if you would like you could like this video and subscribe so you know when I post a new video and I hope you have a nice day I'll see you guys next time